cosmetic guns you need to use in Warzone Mobile. HRM9. This is currently the number one SMG in Warzone Mobile. Insane mobility, really fast time to kill, surprisingly decent at mid-range. This is the loadout you want to use if you're more of an aggressive player and just want the upper hand in close range engagements. For the loadout, for the muzzle, you want the Shadow Strike Suppressor S. For the underbarrel, you want the DR6 hand stop. Magazine, the 50 round drum. Rear grip, the PCS90 assault grip. Then finally, stock, you want the folding stock. Ruin MK9. This is one of the best LMGs in my personal favorite gun to use at medium to long range. Nearly zero recoil, a whole lot of ammo, so no need to reload mid gunfight. Now, besides from the mobility, this is 100% a gun loadout that you need to have. For the optic, you want the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5X. For the muzzle, you want the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor. For the underbarrel, you want the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. For the magazine, you want the 60 round mag. And then finally, the rear grip, the Stip 40 Grip. Ram 7. This is currently the number one AR in Warzone Mobile. High damage AR that's perfect for medium and long range gunfights. Plus, you aren't being dragged down with the mobility like you would with the Bruin. For the loadout, for the stock, you want the HBS 3.4 pad. For the barrel, you want the Cronin Headwind Long Barrel. For the muzzle, you want the Cases Break. For the underbarrel, you want the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. And then for the magazine, you want the 60 round drum. MCPR 300. This is the number one sniper in Warzone Mobile. This gun has one shot headshot potential up to 200 meters. Even though the mobility isn't really the greatest with this gun, it's a must have sniper inside of your loadout. For the loadout, for the optic, you want the Forge Tac Delta 4. For the laser, the FSS OLE B laser. The barrel, the 22 OMX 456. For the muzzle, you want the nil sound at 90. And then for the bolt, the Cronin Smooth Bolt. AMR9. This is easily my second favorite SMG to use in Warzone Mobile, but it is very different compared to the HRM9. This gun has an extremely fast firing rate, so it can only be used effectively up close than compared to the HRM9, which can be used at both up close and medium range. Regardless, it's an incredibly fast time to kill gun if used appropriately, and I can see this being a lot of people's favorite. For the loadout, for the optic, you want the slate reflector for the barrel you want the tectonic micro integral suppressor for the underbarrel you want the dr6 hand stop for the magazine you want the 50 round mag and then finally the rear grip phantom grip ram 9 this is another meta smg that's a mixture between the hrm and the amr it has really good damage fast firing rate and can be used somewhat effectively at medium range for the loadout for the stock you have the hvs 3.4 pad for the muzzle you have the zemin 35 compensated flash hider for the underbarrel you have the dr6 hand stop for the magazine the 50 round bag then finally, the rear grip, the retort 90 grip tape. SVA 545. This is my personal favorite AR to use in Warzone Mobile. I feel like the recoil is so much easier to control than compared to the Ram 7, making it more of a noob-friendly gun. But with that said, the Ram 7 does have higher damage. So if you're noticing that your recoil control isn't really the greatest, the SVA is the perfect gun here for you. For the loadout, for the optic, you want the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5X. For the barrel, you want the STV Precision Barrel. For the muzzle, you want the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor. For the underbarrel, you want the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. And then finally, the magazine, 60 round mag. XRK Stalker. Fast ADS, high mobility, high damage sniper. I don't even consider myself to be a good sniper, but I was able to do some insane flicks here with this build. And also, I noticed that the aim assist was really strong with this build here too. And for the loadout, for the laser, you want the Corio LAZ 44 B3. The barrel, you want the Fission 60 barrel. For the muzzle, the Sonic Suppressor XL. For the ammunition, you want the 50 cal high grain rounds. And then finally, the bolt, the XRK Stalker Light Bolt. Now let's talk about the tactical, lethal, and perks. My favorite tactical is easily the smoke grenade. There's so many powerful uses, such as using the smoke grenade whenever your teammate's down, so you could do a nice little revive. If you're planning on pushing an enemy team, you can toss out some smoke grenades just for that added protection. For the lethal, I love using 
using the throwing knife solely for the purpose of once you down an enemy player throwing it right at them rather than having to spend an extra three plus seconds fully finishing them off here with your gun this is more for like a sweatier type of play style so if you're not that type of person just going for a regular frag grenade finally for the perks there's five different perk packages there is support Deadeye, Scout, Sentinel, and Warden. My two personal favorite perk packages just for my playstyle has to be Deadeye and Warden. Deadeye offers scavenger, resupply ammo, and an extra plate from dead players, strong arm, throw equipment farther, fast hands which you can reload use equipment and swap weapons faster which is so clutch and then probably the most overpowered thing is the high alert in which vision pulses when spotted by an enemy player outside of view you're able to know whether or not enemy players are looking at you and from what direction and then for warden this is for more of that aggressive type of play style you have double time which doubled the duration of tactical sprint increases crouch movement speed by 30 percent strong arm throw equipment farther fast hands reload use equipment and swap weapons faster and then finally quick fix in which killing players or inserting a plate immediately starts health regeneration just an overall overpowered class if you are one of those types of really aggressive players you like going up against multiple enemies at one time and you're able just to regen your health quicker it just can be so clutch thank you guys for watching if you found this video helpful be sure to give it a like if you're new be sure to go and subscribe for more Warzone mobile videos. My name is Parker. Have an awesome rest of your day here today, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.